invite you to find a place where you can be comfortable for the next few minutes and uninterrupted, turn your cell phone off, find a nice quiet place. And what I'd like for you to do is to start breathing in deeply. And as you inhale, let your brain recognize that you're breathing. You can even think the words, I am breathing in. And then as you exhale that breath out of your mouth, think to yourself, I am breathing out. Again, I am breathing in, I am breathing out. And on the next breath, I am breathing in love. Hold it. I am breathing out anything unlike love. Again, breathe in. I am breathing in peace. I am breathing out anything unlike peace. I am breathing in joy. And when you breathe out, I am breathing out anything that's unlike joy. I want you to continue breathing. Focus on that breath to where it becomes just natural to take that deep breath in, hold, and then release it. And as you're focusing on your breath, imagine that you're walking with me. We're gonna go on a little journey Tonight we're going on a journey into a camping area. And as we walk across the gravel and the grass, you can just feel nature, feel Mother Nature's energy coming up through the grass. The grass is alive. It has energy. Feel it. Get Connect with it. If you're walking on rocks, that also has energy. Just feel what's happening underneath your feet. Feel that stabilizing connection with Mother Earth. And you walk slowly across the grass or through the gravel until you reach a clearing. And in this clearing, a bonfire, a campfire has been set up. And you take your place around the fire and you notice on the ground there are some twigs that are laying there that have been prepared already for you. They've been cut just for you to use. And as you sit there and you look at the glow of the flames in this campfire, and you watch as the smoke rises further, higher and higher, and it causes you to look up to the sky and see the beautiful night sky. You see the stars, you see the moon. And you just sit there for a moment and take in all of this beauty, all of this wonder, just knowing that all of what you are looking at is so far away from you, but yet it seems so close you can touch it. And that's how spirit is. Sometimes it seems so far away but yet so close. And tonight I want you to tr get in touch with the closeness of spirit. Get in touch with who you are as part of that vast oneness, part of that creation. I want you to pick up one of the twigs that's laying there beside of you. And I want you to just focus on it and look at it And I want you to start thinking, again, as you're breathing in, breathing in the love. Think of anything in your life 
that's causing you to be disconnected from that feeling of love. Disconnected from feelings of joy and peace and happiness. As you're looking at this twig and you're twirling it between your fingers, holding it in the palm of your hand, I want you to think about what it is, what contrast in your life is there that needs to be dealt with. What is it that's keeping you from being the happiest and the best that you could possibly be and have the best journey here on earth? I want you to give that twig a name. It doesn't have to be the name of a person. But name your twig. Look at the shape of it. Look at the length of it. Just imagine the energy of whatever it is that's between you and peace, joy, and happiness. Whatever that energy is, imagine that going into this twig. And as you look at that twig and the energy that's going in there, I want you to say to that twig, and the energy especially, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And when you say these words, and you're holding all of this energy in your hand that's contained now in this twig, I want you to feel that forgiveness and feel those words. If you're having trouble and you can't, just saying that you can't do it, you can't forgive, call on Archangel Zadkiel. He's right here around the campfire as well. Call on him and ask how you can forgive. Ask him to reveal to you what's needed to totally forgive, to totally let go. And then say the words again, this time focusing on what's happening inside of you. What are you feeling inside? Are you connecting with an emotion, a memory, a fear? Feel that in your gut, whatever the feeling is. And this time, as you're saying the words, connect with that feeling and see if any of it is releasing. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Now what I want you to do, I want you to take that twig and throw it into the campfire. And as it goes into the campfire, thank the angels that kill for help and forgiving. Feel what it feels like inside of you now as you think of whatever it is that you just released, this energy that you're sending into the fire to be burned and consumed and to rise up as positive energy going into the universe. Now I want you to take a few moments. There are more twigs lying around if you have other things you need to release. We'll just sit here for a bit. You know what to do now. Zadkiel is right there by you, with his hand on your shoulder. Just take a moment, if there's another issue you need to bring forth, pick up that twig, hold it in your hand, focus on it, focus on your breathing, focus on the emotion that's in your gut, that feeling that's in there, and say those words, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I love you. And then after you've felt the release of the emotions and a shift in your energy, 
burn the twig and let it go up into the universe. So we'll take just a few moments. Take your time. I want you to totally release whatever it is that needs to be dealt with. Okay, now what I want you to do is look more into the campfire. Just watch these flames as they move and dart about in this fire. Maybe there's some crackle of the wood as it burns. And what I want you to do is call now upon Archangel Michael. Michael knows what just happened. He was there also, witnessing the release, witnessing you forgiving and letting go of issues. And we ask Archangel Michael now to just cut those cords totally that bound you to those issues. And maybe it was people that you let go of, situations, events. And we're asking Michael to cut that cord to where it's no longer an issue. You've let it go. We don't want it coming back into your life. We don't want the, the emotions to be dealt with in a vicious cycle. Let them go. Let it finally go. So ask Archangel Michael to cut that cord between you and whatever the issue was that you just released. And then after the cord is cut, we're asking St. Germain to come in to just seal up that hole that was there. This issue, whenever we have negativity or have anything that's eating at us and irritating or causing us pain and problems and stress, it just creates a hole inside of us. So we're asking St. Germain to just close up that hole where all of those energies were, where all those emotions were, to just close it and seal it with the violet flame. And as he's doing that, I want you to glance at the fire and just imagine that hole being closed, totally closed. I call this doing spiritual surgery. You've dug in there, you've cut out whatever it is that needs to be dealt with, you've let it go, and now the hole is being closed over, just like when you have surgery on a body part. That hole has to be closed up, and it scars over to where it doesn't hurt anymore. You can have free movement where that hole used to be, and it doesn't hurt. And that's what we want to do with sealing up that, that hole and making it a scar. So that from now on, you can move forward. Maybe that whatever it is that you're releasing, maybe that's still in your life, 
but it doesn't have to hurt when you think about it or when you deal with it. So as the scar is healed over, just like when you look at a physical scar on your body, you'll know that that scar is there and that's okay. It's perfectly okay. It's so much better to have a scar than to have a hole where the energies can seep in and, and keep causing problems for you. I want you to take a moment and just thank the angels. Thank them for being there. Thank them for their help. And I want you to thank yourself. Appreciate what you just did. Appreciate the step you took in releasing and doing something positive for yourself. Helping yourself to dig out of the mire. That's such an awesome thing to do for you. And as you stand up beside the fire and you look up again to the heavens, see if the stars are a little brighter. Maybe the moon is shining a little brighter. It's just your new outlook. When you forgive, it's so freeing. Everything looks better. The whole world looks better because you're seeing through different eyes. You're seeing without all of that crud that was inside of you that needed to be released and let go of. And I pray you remember this throughout your day, each day as you go along. Remember that you have that option of dealing with things, dealing with issues, send them away. Give them the forgiveness that's needed it's needed for you, for your own peace, your love, your joy of yourself and inside of yourself. Do that for you. Thank you for coming by today. Thank you for taking this step toward a happier future. If you have any questions, want to make any comments, Please get in touch with me. I'm always available for you. Thank you so much.